Think about the vastness of the universe for a moment. It's a mind-boggling entity, isn't it? Well, today, we are going to explore its origins. Our universe, this grand cosmic tapestry, was not always as we see it today. In fact, it had a definite beginning, a starting point, if you will. Around 13.8 billion years ago, all of matter, space, and time, as we know it, sprang into existence from a state of infinite density and temperature. A concept we commonly refer to as the Big Bang Theory. This wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense, but rather an explosion of space itself, an expansion that continues even today. Picture it. A universe infinitesimally small and infinitely hot, suddenly expanding, cooling, and giving birth to the very fabric of reality as we know it. But how did it all begin? Let's dive deep into the mystery of the cosmos. It all starts with a bang, or rather, the Big Bang. This isn't simply a theory about a colossal explosion that happened billions of years ago. It's a story of creation, of how everything in our universe came into existence. Imagine an infinitely dense point, unimaginably hot and compact, containing all the energy that would ever exist. This is the singularity, the origin of the Big Bang. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of time and space because at this point, they didn't exist as we know them. Then, in an event beyond comprehension, this singularity began to expand. Not an explosion in the conventional sense, but an expansion of space itself. Within the first fraction of a second, the universe inflated exponentially, growing from smaller than a proton to about the size of a grapefruit. This period, known as cosmic inflation, set the stage for the universe we know today. It's responsible for the large-scale structure of the universe, and it's why the cosmos appears roughly the same in all directions. As the universe continued to expand and cool, things started to happen. Energy condensed into particles, quarks combined to form protons and neutrons, and eventually these particles came together to form atoms. This was not a smooth process, however. The early universe was a chaotic soup of particles constantly colliding and interacting. It was only after about 375,000 years that the universe cooled enough for atoms to form and light to travel freely. This light is still visible today as the cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint glow permeating all of space. The Big Bang Theory doesn't just describe an event, but a timeline of the universe's history, from the very first moments to the formation of atoms. It's a story told through mathematics, physics, and astronomical observations. So the universe was born, but it was far from the one we know today. From the chaos of the Big Bang emerged the order of galaxies. A fascinating transformation, isn't it? It's like watching a painter turn a blank canvas into a masterpiece. But how did this happen? How did we go from an indistinguishable dense soup of particles to the beautiful star-studded galaxies we see today? The answer lies in gravity, the great sculptor of the cosmos. After the Big Bang the universe was a hot, dense mix of particles. As this primordial soup expanded and cooled, particles began to clump together under the influence of gravity, forming the first atoms. These atoms then grouped together to form clouds of gas, or what we call nebulae. But these nebulae weren't just idle clouds of gas. They were dynamic, active and ever-changing. As they continued to grow denser, they collapsed under their own gravity, forming spinning disks. And within these disks, the real magic began to happen. The densest parts of these disks ignited, giving birth to the first stars. These stars then gathered together, bound by their mutual gravity, forming the first galaxies. So in essence, a galaxy is a grand cosmic ballet, choreographed by gravity, danced by stars. But the story doesn't end here. These early galaxies weren't the spiraled beauties we're familiar with today. They were irregular, chaotic, constantly colliding and merging with each other. However, with each collision, with each merger, they evolved. They grew larger, more complex, more ordered. Over billions of years, they transformed into the diverse array of galaxies we see today, each with its unique shape, size, and story. The process of galaxy formation is a testament to the power of nature. It shows us how, from chaos, order can emerge. How, from simplicity, complexity can arise. How, from the raw materials of the universe, the grand tapestry of galaxies can be woven. The galaxies were now in place, ready to give birth to the building blocks of life, the stars. So the stage was set, and the universe was ready for its next act, the birth and death of stars. But that's a story for another time. Amidst the cosmic dance, stars were born and stars died. Stars, these magnificent celestial bodies that paint our night sky with their twinkling light, are not eternal. 
They are born, they live, and they die, just like living organisms on Earth. But how does this cosmic life cycle play out? Well, it all begins in a nebula, an enormous cloud of dust and gas in space. Under the influence of gravity, these gases and dust begin to collapse onto themselves, forming a dense core. As the core continues to accumulate more and more material, it heats up. And when it reaches a critical temperature, a process called nuclear fusion begins. This is the birth of a star. The star then enters a long period of stability known as the main sequence stage, where it spends the majority of its life. During this phase the star shines brightly, converting hydrogen into helium in its core through nuclear fusion. Our sun for example, is currently in this stage, and it's been happily burning for about 5 billion years now. However, as stars age, they eventually exhaust their hydrogen fuel. What happens next depends on the star's mass. Stars like our sun swell into red giants, their outer layers expanding while their cores contract. Eventually these outer layers drift off into space leaving behind a hot, dense core known as a white dwarf. Over billions of years this white dwarf will cool and dim, becoming a black dwarf. For more massive stars the story is a bit different. They implode in a spectacular supernova explosion, leaving behind a neutron star or, if the star is massive enough, a black hole. Stars have a life cycle much like us but, their deaths give rise to something even more fascinating. Whether it's a white dwarf, neutron star or a black hole, the death of a star is not an end but rather a transformation, a new beginning in the cosmic ballet. And it's through these stellar life cycles that the universe around us is shaped and reshaped, in an endless dance of creation and destruction. In the fiery forges of dying stars, the elements were born. A statement that sounds poetic but is steeped in the absolute truth of our universe's formation. It's a cosmic dance of creation and destruction where the death of a star is the birth of elements. Stars, in their lifetimes, are the ultimate alchemists, transforming lighter elements into heavier ones through nuclear fusion. Hydrogen fuses to form helium, helium into carbon, and the process continues, creating increasingly heavier elements. But the magic doesn't stop at iron. When the stars can no longer sustain their fusion reactions, they collapse under their own gravity, and in this cataclysmic event, the supernova, elements heavier than iron are created. These explosions are not just spectacular light shows in the cosmos, they are the crucibles where the elements that make up our world, and us, are formed. Every atom in your body, the air you breathe, the ground beneath your feet, was once part of a star that exploded billions of years ago. The remnants of these stellar explosions, rich in heavy elements, don't just drift aimlessly in space. Over time, gravity pulls these particles together, forming dense clouds of gas and dust, and within these nebulae, new stars are born, bringing with them their planetary systems. Planets, like our Earth, are born from the dust and gas that surround these newborn stars. The denser regions of these disks begin to attract more and more matter, forming planetesimals. Over millions of years, these planetesimals collide and combine, growing in size, eventually forming planets. So, when you look up at the night sky, remember, we are all made of stardust. The elements that make up our bodies, the air we breathe, the ground beneath our feet, all were forged in the heart of stars, birthed in their explosive deaths, and brought together to form our planet. And so, the stage was set for life to begin. A stage set by the death and birth of stars, the creation of elements, and the formation of planets. A cosmic ballet that continues to this day, shaping and reshaping the universe we live in. Fast forward billions of years, and here we are. We stand amidst a universe that's constantly expanding, with galaxies moving further apart. It's a cosmic dance that has been going on since the dawn of time. As it stands, we find ourselves in a universe that's around 13.8 billion years old. It's a place filled with a vast array of galaxies, stars and planets, each with their own unique story to tell. What about the future, you ask? Well, there are a few theories. Some scientists predict a big freeze where the universe continues to expand until stars burn out, leaving a cold dark expanse. Others propose a big crunch, where gravity reverses the expansion leading to a universe that collapses in on itself. From a singular point to the vast cosmos we see today the journey of the universe is truly a marvel. This is our universe in all its glory and mystery, what a journey it has been and what an adventure awaits.